Hi y'all, Jay Charles here. I woke up this morning and as expected, it's here. It has begun to arrive. Uh, Tropical Storm Florence is now upon us. Uh, it's just the beginning, but the rain, the airiness, and all the above is uh, is about to be upon us. Anyways, I'm going to give you a live feed of uh, essentially what's going to end up being surviving your gardens uh, or surviving major storms with your gardens and what to do. So stay tuned and I will walk you through each and every pointer I got and show you what I'm going to do. If I say your 20s or four trying to figure out what you want to do with your life. So that's what I did. I was raised in the big sky country. I've even lived in the big city. I was once an accountant, but now I'm a living my dream that I never knew I had. My young lady Jaiba and I now live in the Blue Ridge Mountains of Virginia, where she's in residency. So I opened up my own woodworking business and even got into gardening and farming. So now, I'm a homesteader. This is Homesteading with Jay Charles. Follow these steps to protect your babies in the time of catastrophe. P-I-M-P. Plan, implement, monitor, and protect. Alright, so here is my survival kit as I go out to check on my babies and uh, make sure they're safe. Bamboo sticks. We're going to be using these as stakes. Hammer. Anything to help tie things down, such as ties, clamps, and metal, uh, metal garden stakes there. And I also got zip ties and scissors uh, and a bottle of water. Uh, that's kind of ironic. I don't know why we need that in the middle of a storm. I'm just kidding. That's for me. Yeah, it's not one thing, it's another. I finished making the fence for the greenhouse and then got hit with insecticides all over my zucchini and now we got a pre-major storm before Hurricane Florence hits us so I can't win. I can't get ahead. Anyway, so I'm out here right now. I'm trying to finish tarping all this off to get ready for the next uh, I think it might be eight days of nothing but storms, winds, and by golly, I put way too much work into my babies to let Mother Nature take them from me. I'm their mother, not nature. I, as you can see, I already have sheltered a lot of these I'm gonna have to clamp fix a bunch of these up I'm using what I got I got this corrugated um, roofing from leftover scraps from the greenhouse uh, so I'm gonna get the rest of those going but if you notice here I got everything from keeping pest out to groundhogs deer oh, it's like a bunch of traps sometimes it feels like I'm like Kevin McAllister like, setting up all these traps for the wet bandits to keep them out. I'm just waiting for Joe Pesci to come out behind the woods one morning and sitting there scratching, trying to get inside at the pumpkin. Like, no, let me have. Ah, 
spot. Come on, Marv. I don't know. There's a good little pointer for you. Uh, lady stockings right here. Non creepy way. Uh, if you you can use them to support your pumpkin since I won't be here for a few days uh, checking in on them with this rain and all the storms and see how I have it propped off the ground that will help support it as it grows and it will also keep all these nasty maggot insects uh, away as well hi y'all Jay Charles here at about approximately 2.30, 3 o'clock this morning, Jai Bai and I both uh, were awoken to a loud explosion sound. Um, kind of sounded like my mom yelling back in the day when we'd get in trouble. Um, and then it flashes a light and Jai Bai thought she saw sparks when we looked outside. Anywho found out uh, while I've been up, um, uh, Transmitter transformer uh, went out uh, or got taken down literally right out here in front of our house. Uh, not sure, imagine it's a tray, but luckily they're here to take care of it now and uh, they are hopefully all as well safe as we are. Reporting live here from Grissom Lane here in Blacksburg, Virginia, as Depression Florence, I think they moved it down to, it's called like a Depression or Deceiving Florence instead of Tropical Storm Florence. Anyways, it is upon us. Uh, so as the winds pick up, what we're most worried about right now is with the rains is we got giant oak tree in the backyard, has a bunch of dead branches. Uh, it is predicted based off of what hot America summer calculations to hit the greenhouse. Uh, we will come back to that in one sec. As far as the maple tree over here, this black maple tree, and this is dropping walnuts just like this all over the place. I've been collecting them. Um, they're like a softball. They hurt. If they hit you in the head, they'll knock you out. I'm not collecting them just to save for the woodland creatures. I'm taking them as compensation for them taking my crops. So they're mine. Anyways, be careful on them. Roll an ankle, hit you in the head, give you a concussion. All right, so now we are standing outside of the greenhouse, which uh, has been the refuge, the shelter for a lot of potted plants that were able to make the way out of the evacuation area. As for the plants that were already grown in the ground, uh, homegrown, couldn't get them out, can't transplant them. The greenhouse, uh, you got tropical plants coming in from the cabana as well as uh, Georgia peaches and figs. j oh, half off. Anyways, about this house, greenhouse here it's like a 1990s Chevy commercial it is so the one thing crazy enough that Dapper Wood Design did is they built an emergency overflow pond to account for the runoff uh, from the greenhouse roof as well as being on a hillside so it hits here it collects under the uh, river rock bed it hits this pond and then it will continue running down the hill uh, the one problem with this is uh, there's chance that it will overflow if so the freestanding greenhouse might shift an inch but luckily enough they got sandbags um, was nice enough to let me use her lunch bags to fill sand and block all this in almost as a levee as the storm continues to surge here in Blacksburg Virginia at an estimated two to three inches still actually no joke flash flooding is in high effect saw crazy stuff last night as it is 
no jokes aside, ELA, everyone love everyone, and even the woodland creatures. Let's all make sure that uh, all the animals uh, will be as safe as us humans can be. So shelter up, place.